And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And they're going to speed things up here. Now Smith to the right side. It's Kelsey. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. And Hill with it over the middle. And he goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff, didn't Yeah, they? when we talked about him, they did. Yeah, yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Two yards on the carry there, and it'll be second down. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Now Smith, complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he lost the football. And this is scooped up by the Lions. So the turnover forced and a wonderful job on a big return. And how about the convoy that got created to help him get all the way back upfield? I mean, that's the part that people miss on. That's practice. That's worked on. It doesn't just happen in a game and everyone rallies. They discuss it prior to, and everyone knows their role when they create a turnover like that. Now a play fake here on first down. That is caught at the seven. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Chiefs use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. He's got it as they double up the lead. This one's now 28-14. Now after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal for and take it. The Lions offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that, they had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would, because if they were competent enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really looked clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. And on second and 10 now. On second and 10, Stanford. Over the middle, complete to Tate. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Back now at Ford Field. It's the Lions trailing, but with possession of the football as we get set to bring you the fourth quarter. On first down at Stafford. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. 
It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. Ebron with it over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. And Quan Bolden from 19 yards away. And the Lions have got it back to a one-score game. He's got it, and they're back within a touchdown at 28-21. Here's Martin now following the score as he'll send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And now here comes Kansas City. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right, to be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. Tackle made there by Haloti Nada. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. To throw on second down is Smith. And Conley's got it over the middle. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. It'll be a gain of six, and that'll bring up a third and one. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. I see an extra defensive back on the field. Little surprise here on third and one. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. And partner, in a lot of short yarding situations, you'll see the linebackers step up into the gaps, what we call mugging the line of scrimmage, to make sure they take away all spaces, all creases. That one worked really well for them. They only needed a yard. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. Now the Lions offense, they get ready to head back out there. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass rush. Whether it's the guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the football. Uh, we'll see if they can disrupt it here. Back to the air, Stafford on second down. Caught right side, Tate. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. He had time, was able to survey the field and find a soft spot in that zone coverage. And that's where it gets difficult for a defender, Brandon. You go to your spots on the field that you have to cover, and when the offense finds an area that you're not in, that's where they throw the football. An extra defensive back in the game now here for third and four. Here's Stafford. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Maybe just a lack of concentration there as he couldn't haul it in. And when you're going across the middle like that, you know, he's running that drag route, you are conscious of all the bodies and the traffic in there. But let's face it, if you're going there, you might as well come down with the football and absorb whatever else happens after that. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Desperation time for Stafford on fourth down. And that is incomplete. Jim Caldwell's guys cannot come through there on fourth down. And the 
the Chiefs defense comes up with a stop. And the defense in desperate need of a stop. They have to get off the field and get the ball back to their offense if they want a chance. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And he'll with it over the middle. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measurables, otherwise they wouldn't have brought him on to the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Here's Smith now on second down. And he whips that one incomplete there. Travis Kelsey, the Pro Bowl tight end, the intended target, and it's third down. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move them all over the place to try and find good matchups, and they had one, they were just unable to complete the pass. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Smith now to throw. He sets to fire deep. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. So here come the Lions now. And this offense last time turned it over. Went for it on fourth. Didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board. But we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series. And because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was going to say, maybe makes that offense feel good. But when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that'll loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe you'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. They'll look to throw. It's brought in left side by Tate. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield across the 45. And a nice gain of 21 yards. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. And they're going to go soft on the corners. Back to throw toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. He was trying to find Marvin Jones that time, and it's second down. If you're a defender, one of the fun things about playing zone defenses, especially in today's football, is that it's not as static as it was in the good old days, meaning you just drop to a point and react to the football. Now you end up with a lot of man-to-man -man principles once you get into your zone defense. In other words, get to your assignment and then locate a guy coming into your area, and then you end up covering him almost man for man. That allows him to make more plays on the football like the one we just saw there. And quickly, they get to the line. Back to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. Eric Ebron, the big tight end, is intended target. And now it's second down. Down here in the red zone, you know your tight end is going to be a favorite target. Couldn't hang on. And sometimes they just have to get out of their own head because they understand how tight windows are there and how many bodies are there. And sometimes they just overthink it and don't catch the ball. He'll look to throw. Caught on 
the right side by Jones. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Let's see what they go to here on third down and six. They'll put two receivers left, two to the right. Back to throw. Connects it to Roberts, right side. Six yards on the pickup, and that's going to make it fourth down. Now, that's going to be a tough one to explain when they get together to watch the game film, isn't it? I mean, they had the right call, had the out route. He's got to know where the first down sticks are, yet he steps out of bounds that close. Not their best play. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. They come up in an offset eye. Throwing a Stafford. And no, it's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Chiefs are likely going to win the football game. And now here comes Kansas City. They have the lead. Still a one-possession game, but the defense got to stop. They've got the football now. Just salted away, right? Exactly. That's all the defense is counting on from their offense. They did their job in a big way. You know they're over on the sidelines now starting to take their tape off. And, hey, we've done this thing. The offense has to put it away, and that means ball security. Absolutely. Stranger things have happened. They'll run it now out of the gun. And now the Lions going to stop this momentarily as they call the timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. They'll run it now out of the gun. And a short gain here. And we're going to get another timeout called by the Lions. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Now it's Smith. And incomplete. The contact made the ball run free and brings up fourth down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. On the return, it's Tate. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. So the Lions offense ready to go back out onto the field. One possession game. <laughs> time very much a factor. How does the offense handle this situation? Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat relaxed. And I know that's counterintuitive because this is a pressure situation. But this is Friday practice every week of the season. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It'll be their third and final timeout. So as they talk things over, we'll step aside. Now Stanford. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. Give them 27 yards that time. And the Lions are going to have it first and goal. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way. And this ball is caught. It's a touchdown. And now in the final seconds, they're a PAT away from likely getting this thing to overtime. And now the decision is to go for two. A gutsy call in this, in effect, is your ball game right here. Stafford's going to try and throw for it. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by the free safety, Eric Berry. And he is going to be stopped on the return at his own three-yard line. So after the touchdown, Martin now on to kick this one away. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. <laughs> well, a little drama there at the end, but really this thing was already decided. The late points get scored, and then it ends on the kickoff. 
And I'm right there with you, partner. At the end of the game, they knew what they had to do. Just make sure you don't cough up the football at the end. Just take care of it, and victory was theirs, and that's exactly what they did. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long, everyone, from Ford Field.